Hello, great souls. Let's begin our practice today in a seated position. So choosing any comfortable seat. Um, <clears throat> if, it, if you like, you can turn the palms upward on tops of the legs and closing the eyes. Let's bring the awareness to the point between the eyebrows. Relaxing the body, sitting with a lifted and lengthened spine, shoulders relaxed down from the ears. We'll take some deep, full breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose, visualize the breath washing through the whole body. Prana and life force, cleansing and clearing away anything that you feel ready to be free of, physically, mentally, emotionally. Each breath welcoming the day. New life, new energy, new possibilities. Centered and present. Awake and ready. Another deep, full breath in and out. Let's bring the hands together to the heart, honoring the divine light within yourself and within all beings. We'll start today with Namaste. Namaste. Okay, let's remain seated uh, for a few warm-ups for the body. So let's begin by rolling the shoulders. You can have your hands on your legs, or you could bring your hands up to the shoulders, or you could do a little of both. We'll um, bring them forward and then back. And then, if you like, hands on the shoulders. And just noticing how are the shoulders today? How's the body? Right? Even gentle movements awaken energy and they free the body from trapped uh, energy, tension. Very nice. From here, let's exhale and release the head, the chin down towards the chest, a gentle stretch for the back of the neck. And then inhale back to center and exhale, turn the head to look towards the left. Again, the hands can be down or turned upward. Breath is relaxed, body relaxed. Inhale back to center. And exhale, turn the head towards the right. Very nice. Head comes back to center. And then we'll tilt the head. So a gentle stretch on the side of the neck. Let the weight of your head give you the stretch. Consciously releasing the shoulders down from the ears. We'll inhale, head back to center, and tilt to the other side. As you practice, practice giving yourself the space to really be here and relax, kind of letting go of all other concerns. This is your time now for yoga. Inhale, bring head back to center. And from here, we'll practice a uh, butterfly. So the fingers are interlaced and the arms come up. We inhale and expand the chest. And then as you exhale, you bring the elbows towards each other and you roll forward a bit. Inhale, expand like a beautiful butterfly. Exhale, the wings come towards each other. Flowing at your own pace. You can pause in either direction if that feels good for you. Just keep the breath flowing if you do pause. Very nice. The next time the arms and wings come back, we'll stretch up and reach to the sky. 
and exhale the arms down to the side. And then we'll come into circle of light, circle of joy. So hands are first here at the heart. We interlace fingers and elbows lift up. Exhale and hands move out in front. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretch the spine. As you exhale, the arms come down and you visualize light and joy surrounding you. We bring the hands behind the back, fingers interlace and open the front of the heart center. Release and exhale, arms float, palms together, hands at the heart. Let's do this once more, inhaling and exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretch tall. Release and exhale. Very nice, hands come behind the back. Inhale and exhale. Palms together, hands at the heart. Now we'll um, practice side to side stretch. So with the um, right hand on the floor, we'll inhale left arm up and exhale over. And you can slide the hand away from the body and rotate the head to look towards the sky. Breathing deeply and just feel that beautiful opening in the body as you stretch and breathe. Just welcoming the stretch and welcoming the gift of your practice today. And we'll inhale up and exhale down and go to the other side. So lift and lengthen, stretch tall, and exhale, rotating to look up to the sky, and just finding the stretch that's just right for you today. Breathing deeply. Inhale up and exhale down. Very nice. From here, let's come on to hands and knees in tabletop position. We'll come into cat cow, arching and swaying. Once again, finding the rhythm that feels just right for you today. Very nice. We'll come up into a um, low lunge and the hands can be on the knee or at the side or above you. If you like, you can create a little bit of a backward bend. Inhale, exhale, arms down, extend the leg out. And you can keep the spine um, vertical neutral or exhale forward. Nice stretch for the back of the legs, breathing deeply. Feel yourself in relationship with your body. So be a partner with your body today as you practice. Notice how it feels. Adjust yourself to tend to the needs of the body and utilize the breath to support the body. We'll come back to center and go to the other side. So part of how we work with our breath is that we visualize the breath moving through the body as we practice. So again, the hands can be on the legs or above you. The lift of the, um, the gaze is lifted in a relaxed way and the eyes can be open or closed. Finding again, the position that's just right for you. This is Modified Warrior, Spiritual Warrior One, Virabhadrasana. I attune my will to the source of all power. I attune my will to the source 
of all power. Lift and lengthen and exhale down. And then extend that leg back. Find the stretch that feels right for you. Eyes can be open or closed. I attune my will, my life and energy to the source of all. Just aligning yourself with the universe. Very nice. From here, let's come into um, tabletop and downward facing dog. So fingertips are spread wide, toes are turned under, we'll lift up. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Feel yourself just diving deeply. Welcoming waves of calmness. Then we'll walk the feet towards the hands, the hands towards the feet, tuck the chin to chest, and bring yourself into Tadasana. Standing mountain pose, pausing here, relaxing the body, finding that quality of inner stability and strength. Standing in your own knowing of truth with an inner commitment to follow that voice of inner wisdom, even when it comes as a whisper to you. I stand ready to obey thy least command. I stand ready to obey thy least command. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Very nice. From here, let's practice Natra Rajasana. So this is a um, balancing pose. We'll stand on the right foot and bring the left foot back. And you'll find your sense of balance raising the opposite arm. Lifting the gaze of the eyes just slightly. Breathing deeply. The affirmation. While I move through life, I remain anchored in myself. While I move through life, I remain anchored in myself. A sense of being anchored in your highest truth and highest knowing. Very nice. We'll come out of the pose. Pause for a moment in Tadasana. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self. Very nice. We'll go to the other side. So if you become wobbly at all, just as I was coming out of the pose, you know, I stepped a bit to the side. What we practice is making everything our practice. Right? So everything is part of yoga, not, oh, now I'm practicing and now I'm not. So we'll, I'll turn to the side on this one this time. So now we stand on the left leg and we bring the right foot behind and you inhale the other arm up. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self, breathing deeply. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self. So keep the practice going. Just work with the body. Right? It's fine if there's if you don't quite have the balance or it's a little wobbly. Sometimes I'll practice standing with my fingers at a wall. And then when you feel like okay, that's what I can do. 
Staying balanced and centered. Return, lift the gaze, mentally affirm. While I move through life, I remain centered in my highest self. Nata Rajasana, Dancing Shiva. Very nice. From here, let's practice Utkatasana, the chair pose. So we'll inhale up on the balls of the feet, holding the breath. Bring yourself down a bit as if you were seated on a high stool. And then allow the breath to flow. This is the first phase of Utkatasana. The heels are off the floor if possible. If you find that you need to have the heels on the floor or one of the heels, it's fine. Gaze again is lifted. The affirmation is, my body is no burden. It is light as air. My body is no burden. It is light as air. Very strengthening for the legs and strengthening for the body. It awakens a lot of prana and life force and helps us to tune into that quality of energy, divine energy within us. From here, you can return to Tadasana. You can remain in the pose just as you are, or you can come into a deep squat. Inhale, exhale, bring yourself down slowly. The hands can stay in front or to your um, rest on your thighs. So it changes for me every day. My body is no burden. It is light as air. My body is no burden. It is light as air. Very nice. To come out of the pose, the hands come back. We sweep ourselves up, lift and lengthen, and exhale down. And pause here. You can shift the weight of your body a little as you need. See if you can feel energy rising up through the legs. Guide the energy to the spiritual eye. Mentally affirming, my body is no burden. It is light as air. Utkatasana, the chair pose. Very nice. From here, let's come into Trikonasana, the triangle pose. So we'll step the feet <clears throat> wide apart, and we'll turn the left foot out, and we'll line that up with the instep of the right. You can bend your knee a little bit just to kind of get the body in position. Bring the torso back to the front. Inhale, arms up. Lift and lengthen. Turn the hands forward. And exhale down to shoulder height. Now you'll lift your left arm as you tilt your hips. And you go to the point where the body naturally pauses. Bring that arm down and the other arm up. You can look straight ahead, down towards the floor or up towards the sky. And the arm above you can remain above you, or you can bring that hand down to your hip if that's more comfortable. Swami Kriyananda said, in this asana, we are flooded with energy and joy. So I like to imagine being underneath a waterfall of energy and joy. If you've ever been under a waterfall, you'll know why I choose that image. And it's quite amazing, the sound and energy and joy of it. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Very nice. We'll inhale up, come back to center. Bring the arms down and keep the legs um, just to the, to standing out to the side and pause here for a moment. Very nice. Let's go to the other side now. So we'll turn the right foot out and we line it up with the instep of the left. Bending the knee a little bit just helps bring the body in position. 
Torso comes towards the front. We inhale up, palms towards the front, and then you come into the pose and just wait for the body to pause. This arm comes down and the other one comes up. And then find if you want to look up toward the sky, straight ahead, or down towards the floor. As you breathe, just feel the breath supporting the body in relaxation. So deep, relaxed breaths help the muscles to relax, help the body to relax. It's a very dynamic asana. So even in the midst of relaxation, it's not at all passive. That's part of what we practice in yoga is how to relax with energy. What does that feel like? Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Feel yourself flooded with energy, flooded with joy. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Very nice. We'll inhale up. Bring the arm here and exhale down and pause for a moment. We'll come into a forward bend with a, in a wide stance. This is Prasarita Padottanasana, which is the wide stance forward bend. The hands on the backs of the thighs or the front to support the spine. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head and exhale forward. So I'll come, let me show you from a side angle. Hinging here. And as you press on the thighs, you can lengthen the back a bit more, looking down towards the floor, reaching through the crown of the head. Just enjoy the stretch on the back of the legs and through the spine. And then as you feel ready, you can surrender and release and come forward. The hands can slide down here, they could be here, or here. The affirmation, I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. Bending the knees and using the strength of the legs to bring yourself back up to standing. Let's walk the feet in and then step the legs in and come to Tadasana and just notice how it feels. Can you sense any shifts and changes in the body, in your experience, in your consciousness, any of the affirmations flowing through you? I relax and cast aside all mental burdens, energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Very nice. Let's come down to the floor for just a few more. So we'll come into a cross-legged position or any comfortable seat for your body. I take a moment, and sometimes it does for me, take a moment. So just give yourself the moment, right? Don't rest yourself in your practice. Okay, here we go. So sitting with the spine lifted and lengthened, bringing the hands to the heart, we'll come into the practice of seated mountain. And you can keep your hands right here the whole time, or you can inhale them up above you. Lift and lengthen the arms, draw the stomach in, and bring the hands down towards the head. Keep the stomach held in. Allow the breath to flow. It does feel a little uncomfortable. 
We don't hold it in the whole time, but it helps to magnetically draw the energy upward with that stomach held in. Lifting the inward gaze up toward the spiritual eye. You can relax the stomach at any time. The affirmation, my thoughts and energy rise up to touch the sky. My thoughts and energy rise up to touch the sky. Feel your consciousness rising your thoughts and energy, lifting, soaring upward. My thoughts and energy rise up to touch the sky. We'll inhale, lengthen the arms and exhale down. Beautiful, graceful circle. Bring the hands to rest on the legs, closing the eyes. Belly relaxed, heart is open. See if you can sense an inner calm, an inner stillness. Mentally repeating, my thoughts and energy rise up to touch the sky. My thoughts and energy rise up to touch the sky. Parvatasana, seated mountain pose. Very nice. From here we'll come into a seated forward bend. This is um, Upavishta Konasana. So it's a nice stretch for the inside of the legs. Um, it's a nice lengthening stretch for the back of the spine. The feet can be relaxed or flexed. You can stay right where you are. You don't need to move at all. For some, that's going to be the perfect position. Others may find they can come forward quite far. So you find for yourself what's true. First, lift and lengthen. And if you do want to come forward, lead with the heart center. And just try to keep the spine neutral as you come forward. There'll be a certain point, especially in the legs, where the body will begin to resist moving forward anymore. Please honor that. We don't push in our practice. There's no need. We want to find that edge and breathe. The affirmation is, I welcome every opportunity for further growth. So as you breathe and offer yourself into the asana, mentally affirming this quality of profound receptivity. I welcome every opportunity for further growth. Moving into the relaxation phase, you can stay right where you are and relax, or in the relaxation, exhale and round. You can turn the palms upward, release the head forward, relaxing the whole body. I welcome every opportunity for further growth. We'll inhale and bring ourselves back to center. One more asana before we close. So I'm going to turn to the side to show you this. Purvottanasana. This is, you can practice this with the legs extended out in front of you. This is a modified way to practice. It's a beautiful backward bend that uh, creates a lot of energy. The, okay, let's see. I want to actually read the affirmation. So this is a beautiful book if you don't have it. It's, um, okay. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. It's so beautiful, I wanted to make sure and say it. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. 
Swami Kriyananda wrote out these beautiful affirmations for us. So the hands come behind the back. And once you feel stable, you'll lift your hips and offer yourself up with a burst of energy. I rise to greet the world. Breathe into this. It's a very simple asana, but it can be quite challenging. So just welcome that without going too far. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. Purvotanasana. And then we'll come down. We'll come back to a comfortable seat to close our practice with a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. Let that energy rise within you. And let's send this energy out now as a gift and a blessing to all. We'll rub the hands together, draw light and energy into the hands. We'll raise them and chant all three times. Oh. Okay, great souls, wishing you a beautiful day.